In this video, we're going to look at how to complete an incomplete table and also an incomplete histogram and vice versa from the information given. So we've got some group data here, we've got some frequency and something that resembles an incomplete histogram. Now, we can also notice the scale of the histogram is missing as well. So that's something we ought to work out. So let's think of what they've given us. Well, they've given us 600 to 800 and we've got the bar drawn and we've got 800 to 1000 the bar drawn and 1000 to 1400 so the only information that's been given to me is 600 to 800 right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add in some extra columns on my table meaning the class width and frequency density so don't forget frequency density is always frequency divided by the class width. So the class width is easy. 400 minus zero is 400. 600 minus 400 is 200. Then we do 800 minus 600, which is 200. Again, 1000 minus 800 again is 200. And we get 1400 minus 1000, which is 400. So I've got my corresponding class widths. So the one that I know is 600 to 800. So I'm going to do the frequency divided by the class width. So that's going to give me 10 divided by 200. So 10 divided by 200 here, and that will give me 0 0.05. So I can write here 0 0.05. Once I've got that, then I can say that this thing here refers to 0 0.05 so 0 0.05 is here so the first thing to notice here is if we take 600 to 800 is I've got one block that's 10 by 10 another block here 10 by 10 again another block here 10 by 10 again and we've got fourth block 10 by 10 and five so we've got one two three four and five big blocks so i'm going to say right so five blocks represent a frequency in the table of 10 so this is this is the frequency in the table so how much is one big block so one big block is going to be dividing it by five on both sides dividing that by five, that gives me two. So one big block is representing a frequency of two. So if we take the next one, we've got four blocks here. One, two, three, four. So we can say four blocks is just going to be two times four which is eight. So we can fill that in here. Eight to a thousand is eight. And then now for this one, we've got to be careful. We've got one, two, but these two together make three. So it's going to be three blocks is going to be two times three, which is six. And we get six here. So we've completed our table. So now we're in a position to complete our histogram. So we can now do frequency divided by class width. So we can do eight divided by 400, gives me 0 0.02. Then five divided by 200, five divided by 200 here, gives me 0 0.025, so 0 0.02 five and then we can do um, eight divided by 200 which is 0 0.04 and then six divided by 400 which is 0 0.015 so 0 0.015 
So now I'm in a position to complete my histogram. Now notice, regarding the scale, if five blocks is 0 0.05, then one big block must be 0 0.01. So let's draw them in, 0 0.02, 0 0.03, and we got 0 0.04. So now that we've got that, we're in a position now to draw in our histogram. So I'm just going to draw that in. We can shade that in. And then the other one is from 400 to 600 of 0 0.025. So it's in between these two. So it's going to be We can shade that in here. And we got it. And that's our histogram. Here's a question for you to try. You can pause the video and when you're done, I will go through my work solution. Okay, welcome back. So we've got group data again, an incomplete histogram, and a table of values. So what I'm going to do first of all is to just draw out or outline the values given to us on the diagram so we can see it on the screen. Okay, so we've got our histogram outlined for us, what they've given us so far. Now, we need to look at our table. So we've got 165 adults in total. We've got 20 individuals from 0 to 10, 30 individuals from 15 to 17.5, 40 individuals from 17.5 to 20, and so on. None of the adults took more than 40 seconds to connect to the internet. So... Now what we can do is to say, right, let's work out our class width. So that's going to be 10, 5, 2.5. That's going to be the same as 2.5. And then we get 5. And then we're going to get 15, respectively. Then we can work out our frequency density. So that gives me 2. Then we're going to do 30 divided by 2.5. 30 divided by 2.5. Give me a value of 12. So I'll get 12 here. Then we're going to do 40 divided by 2.5. Give me 16. So we now know that this has a frequency density of 2. But we can say there are one, two, three, four squares of what? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So 20 and four. So 80 squares, 80 squares represents a frequency of 20. So now we can form the relationship required. So we can see that the first set of the, of the bar, we've got 80 squares within it. So what we're saying is 80 squares or 80 little squares represents a frequency of 20. Don't forget this is the frequency we're talking about. So one little square will be 20 divided by 80, which is a quarter or 0 0.25 so now we can solve the rest here because the next block has got 160 squares in it so we're going to do 160 divided by 4 which is going to be 40 so we can write 40 in here 
So the next one is got 80 squares in it. So we're going to do 80 divided by four, which is 20. So that's got 20 squares in it. And the last one has got 60 squares. So I'm going to do 60 divided by four, which is 15. Don't forget dividing by four is the same thing as multiplying by a quarter. So we get 15 here and that's the table completed. So now we're in a position to get our frequency densities that we need. So we can now do 40 divided by five, which is eight. And then we can do 20 divided by five, which is four. And then we can do 15 divided by 15, which is one. So now that we've completed our frequency density, now we're in a position to get our scale correct. So it starts from one and the highest value is 16. So don't forget we've got a scale now that every four little squares represents two. So we can go up in twos. So this is now going to be four. So one, two, three, four. That's going to give me six. Then we do one, two, three, four. That's going to give me eight. Then we do one, two, three, four. That's going to give me 10. One, two, three, four. That's going to give me 12. One, two, three, four. That's going to give me 14. Then we've got one, two, three, one, two, three, four. That's going to give me 16. Uh, and I'm just going to go up to 18. So one, two, three, four, which is 18. So now that we've got that, we can, we're now in a position to draw in our histogram. So we need to draw from 15 to 17.5. Well, look at the scale on the x-axis. We've got 10 squares is representing five. So half of that, so five squares must be two and a half, so that's 17.5 there. So now we can draw in this part of the histogram. So from 15 to 17.5, that gives me a frequency density of 12. So I can go up to 12 here, draw my bar like this, come down and draw in my, my bar like so. And I'll just do the other one in blue. And the last one we're going to draw is from 17.5 to 20, which is 16. So we can say, well, 16 is there. Do a bar cross. And we come down to there. And just shade it in. And that's it. That's the end of the question.